I'm going to show you right now how to make smoky bluish brownish orangey kind of look first thing that I'm gonna start with is primer and I'm using the Too Faced shadow insurance and apply it all over the eyelid and then I'm gonna start with my highlighter MAC Blanc I'm using the Emite E111 to apply underneath the brow that I just did this is matte I don't like shimmer underneath the eyebrow unless it's like a crazy makeup next step is the browns and the oranges palette from MAC small silk I've actually never used this small silk for this kind of makeup so it's gonna be fun to try it and using my MAC 217 and starting off a little bit above the crease so right here Oh wait, I forgot my shadow shields. So, shadow shields uh, protects the eyeshadow from falling down on your cheeks and ruining your makeup. Uh, but um, normally I don't really have a problem with that. I just use them for getting a really nice sharp line like this. <laughs> so, cut that on. Let's continue with my Samoa silk. It's really nice. Orangey, but still like not too screamy orange. I'm gonna start with, I think it's cork. Yeah, I think so. By Mac. And uh, with the same brush, just go like, just beneath the small silk. Like right at the crease. So that you give it some definition. And why I'm starting with the brown in the creases is because it's easier than to to blend out like the black and stuff. Um, to have something already there, like to stop it from turning into like a really dark black mess. Now I'm gonna go on to, I think it's Embark maybe? Uh, or Espresso? <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's dark brown. And then apply it right here to give it even more definition because I like it. When there's like this 3D effect. So I'm dotting and I'm swiping. And I'm going in circles just to get it blended. From my Makeup Atelier palette, I love all of these colors. You've seen me use the oh, well, all of them actually. And uh, this orange one is perfect for applying right over here. And the brush is also Makeup Atelier. It's the P20. It's really nice to just, you know 
the last touch of that and just go like that and it looks way better so it's a really nice brush it's big and fluffy okie dokie okay now it's time for my blue and the color i'm using is going to be tiffany <laughs> so sweet name so i've never used this one before so it's gonna be exciting really like light and summery and that's what I wanted there's also some shimmer to this eyeshadow and the rest is matte and I like that transition between textures I think it's pretty cool Maya from the makeup store. It's a little darker and it's very bright. So I'm gonna apply that in the corner here. Just before I felt that it needed something else, like Tiffany wasn't really um performing on itself so well. So I think you need like a little bit of a darker color just in the outside corner to make it pop and then in the very very inner corner I'm using a white and it's from Ingot it's completely matte and it's a really nice white shadow So go with a little bit of white right there. And just blend it out. Okay, so it's time for the deck. And I'm going to use makeup store. 109 this is like my all-time favorite brush ever in the whole world it works really nice with my my eyes my lids so i'm using black and this is from ingola again completely matte and starting on the outer corners Just go above the blue. Be careful to not apply too much at once. You're gonna have to build it up so because if you do something wrong with the black you're pretty screwed. So be careful. Going back to this one, whatever it was. Like that. And then carefully, like with like no color on the brush, just the leftover colors, um, blend the black upwards towards the, the browns and the oranges that we just put there a little further out connecting it so we get a deep black color as well Now I'm going back to my 217 
brush and maybe some small silk as well. So my camera stopped recording right before I was gonna do my eyeliner, so I <laughs> I already did it. And I'm sorry I didn't notice. But what I'm using is the Isadora colorful eyeliner in black and it, I think it works pretty well. It's really like simple to use, it's like ready to go and um, I've been using it a while. So I kind of like learned how to <laughs> master it. So, so what I did was I used the shadow shield to go with my wing and then connected it like this. Not really thick, but not really thin either. So it's like quite a normal eyeliner, I guess you could say. Okay, so I'm ready to take off, no wait, yeah, my shadow shields, and oh my god, this was strong, ooh, whoa, it never sits that, like, strong, like, it's re normally really easy to get it off, <laughs> whoa, okay, um, <laughs> I got, okay, uh, wow, well, I don't know really what happened, it's normally not that, like, harsh, but, um, Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that out. Shadow Shield took my makeup off. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I got like a line here. Oh well, I'll fix it later. So now you can see like the really strong like, line of shadow and then also the black eyeliner. Um, yeah. So what you can do is you can either use like a white in the waterline and then black underneath but today I'm gonna use uh, only black. So I'm gonna start with the, um, I think it's the Maybelline Master Drama uh, cold pencil in black and go in my waterline. This one's really creamy and really black. So it's a nice one. And then I'm gonna go and get a product in between the lashes. Lift up with my finger. And apply the black. And in the beginning your eyes might like not like that, but you get used to it. I'm gonna use my Sigma Short Shader E20 Face Stockholm. I think this color is Joy. It's uh, perfect for blending out black for some reason on the bottom line. It's, it's a grayish brown. on the darker side as well so. so it goes well with the black I'm gonna use a smaller brush the inside corner and it's the makeup store 104 mini brush I like it oops too much shadow and 
Mac 217 again and some cork and just pump it again. And then I'm going to reapply the black eyeliner so that it's really black right here. So I've got eyeliner on right now and it's time for my eyelashes. So I'll just place them right in the middle, like right on top. And then inner and outer corners. So that's the outer corner. And then the inner corner. Bottom lashes and place it. So I basically start with having some gaps with be between them, and then when I'm done, like all the way, I fill in the gaps. Time for mascara. I'm just dabbing on the bottom ones. Okay. So, um, finished with the eyes. Time for the lips. And starting off with the lip balm, it's from um, Bird's Bees. MAC Subculture. MAC um, <clears throat> Cream the Nude. I don't know why I looked underneath. I know what it is. It's my uh, favorite nude. I used to use Myth a lot before. I think they're very similar, but this one is a little bit more creamy and uh, like see through. It's not as like mad and thick as Myth. The blush that I've been using well now is the MAC Lavish Living from the uh, Divine Nights collection. Uh, purpley, a little bit shimmery, an elf blush, uh, D28. It's like a shimmery baked blush with a like, gold and pink. And this gives a pretty nice shimmer. Like so. Here it is and um, you can you actually see me do this look, look a lot, but like I use different colors on the lids, like yellow or whatever um, color. And uh, that's it. So if you have like any other specific look that you want me to show, uh, tell me on my Instagram. It's Janmia Makeup <laughs> at Instagram, and just like comment on the picture. Like, yeah, just ask if I can do a video, and I will try to do it. And, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and for your support. And please follow my Instagram and uh, whatever other place, Facebook, Genmia Makeup, and here also. It's, I think it's Genmia as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>